Molly Parker's Philosophy of Education. My students learn differently. In order to meet the needs of my students, I will provide a variety of opportunities to learn, understand, and appreciate the content of mathematics. An effective teacher is so many things, but most importantly, they are enthusiastic about their content area in teaching. They are also knowledgeable about their content area and a variety of other things. Finally, they are compassionate toward their students and their individual situation. Mathematics is a difficult subject for some and seems to frighten and disable those who attempt it. Mathematics can be conquered and it leads to other important fields of learning. Science, technology, and engineering use math as a foundation. Without mathematics, we would have no planes, no cars, no buildings, no bridges, and no technology. Mathematics can be a tool for success and it teaches determination and problem solving. As a teacher, I must be thoroughly prepared so I can allow my students to guide me in what and how I teach. By having a full mastery and love of mathematics, I can be prepared when the focus, level, or speed of instruction may need to be adjusted due to the needs of my students. By having enthusiasm for mathematics and learning, I hope my students will learn to be enthusiastic and have a desire to learn and succeed. My classroom will be full of energy. The desk will be arranged in groups and the students will be assigned their seats so that each group holds a student with a different skill level to foster collaboration and community among the students. Students need to feel comfortable to speak and ask questions to engage in learning. Respect and compassion will be a key component in my classroom in all relationships, student, teacher, and peer. One cannot engender these aspects without first offering them up themselves. Mathematics is complex, but it can be learned by any student. Many students feel that they cannot be successful in a mathematics class. I intend for every one of my students to be successful. Each student upon entering my classroom will be pre-tested on all the basic mathematic principles they ought to have learned previously. This will allow me to ensure the students are literate in the content area prior to teaching more complex problems. Through collaborative group work and group projects, the students will learn to increase their communication skills as well as their content knowledge. Through presentation of individual and group projects, they will become more comfortable in public speaking and participating in class. Students will be given formative assessments in the form of homework and classwork assignments, including posting work completed on the board to explain to others. Self quizzes will be given frequently as the best way to retain knowledge is to recall it. These quizzes will not be graded, but used as participation points and in this way the students will learn to test with reduced anxiety. In addition, summative assessments will be used to ensure the content has been retained and the students are prepared for the next topic of instruction. Instruction needs to be diverse to cater to the needs of every student. Projects, reading, hands-on activities, guided self-instruction, all of these are tools I intend to implement to allow my students to learn mathematics in a new and exciting way, giving them the opportunity to succeed. Through online research projects, graphing software, calculators, the students will be able to better visualize the concepts of mathematics as they translate from figures to the picture those figures create. Through the use of technology, I can increase the level of engagement of my students as they interact with mathematics in new ways. The most influential tool a teacher can wield is enthusiasm for learning. Enthusiasm is contagious and it can inspire others to learn and engage. Every teacher holds the hearts and minds of her students in his or her classroom. We cannot fail them.